did. Alexa, can you have some? Okay, so start the recording. Alexa, cancel. All right, please put yourself on mute. Uh, Fazia, mute, mute, mute yourself. Uh, so really the first thing we do is ask if anybody has any questions, comments, any experience to share. Please unmute yourself and go ahead and ask. I think um, Pablo have a lot of to share <laughs> in, in his post in the group. And I'd like uh, Pablo uh, to talk about uh, what have he done these two months on his body? Maybe it's a, yeah, it should be a very good learning for, uh, for us because he has made such a great progress on his uh, health issues. Maybe some, some of you haven't read the read his uh, post <laughs> on the group, but yeah, you can see it on the, po uh, on the group later on. But he really made a very <laughs> quick progress. <laughs> that's, okay? so, that's a very good you... idea. And mm -hmm. Pablo, before you say anything, uh, I, will just, I just want to resonate what just Jenna said. So people who don't know about the Facebook group, it's called the New Paida Lajin Global Facebook group. So please join that group. There's so much information that people are sharing and all of us learn from what you share. So it's important. So please do join the group, all right? And, and Sherry, uh, could you uh, please uh, also share this uh, meeting uh, schedule on the post, uh, on the group also? Yeah, okay, I will do that, yeah. I've done it, I, I think over a month ago I did at one time, but uh, I think it, Good, you reminded me. I'll do it again. Yeah, because I I, I saw it. There are about one hundred ninety some uh, yeah participants on the group. Yeah, yeah. So the number is growing, which is good. I mean, uh, we we want this technique to be promoted, to be popularized, and it should spread everywhere in the world so people can benefit from it. It is such a low cost, almost zero cost technique. And it has such deep implications in improving the health of your body. So with that, Pablo, do you want to share? Sure. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, the, uh, just a few days ago, Jim, who I talked to you know, usually, uh, uh, he helps me out with the, with the PIDA. He asked me, well, he said to write about my report, my and improvements I've had. And I sat down and I wrote him up, you know, I thought about it and I wrote him a couple of things. And then, uh, and then the, he says, wow, he says, that's a lot. So uh, then I kept thinking that you just got the ball rolling and I kept thinking of all the things that that's been going on. I started recording it. And I can't, it really is unbelievable. But it was so much, and it, it was such a good experience to write, to record it, that uh, I just, uh, yeah, then he told me maybe we could put it, post it on the PIDA, uh, the, the website. And then I said to myself, why not share it with all my family and friends? Big deal, you know, it's like, uh, um, they, that's what I'm doing, and it's really having a great effect on me. And uh, I did. So I now I, I put it in the website. Um, just an episode of what's going on, I'll, I'll tell you. And I put it in my uh, uh, Facebook page. So I started Python, I started learning about it for a few months and uh, basically, uh, you know, I wasn't sure. And, uh, but I, I think in the last two, maybe three months, I've been much more serious coming to these meetings and uh, really taking it to heart. Mostly because I wanted to correct uh, I thought so you guys told me that it, I would be able to correct my tinnitus, which is bothering me a lot. I got tinnitus um, about last May before Easter. And I, ever since then, I've been going to different roads. Uh, nothing has really worked except PIDA, which has not worked 100%, but, it, but it's brought it down a good level. I see an improvement. 
But as I, as I pied her and I tried different uh, stretching exercises and I pied her on my elbow and this and that in my own way, um, I noticed not long ago I, I had that things were improving in my body, but I hadn't paid attention. For example, I suffer greatly from uh, lipomas, which are fat deposits. In, in my body, I had two big ones, one on my uh, stomach uh, uh, here on the left side and one on my right side of my, on my leg that really sh looked like golf balls when I, when I wore a bathing suit. It bothered me, um, but I also had little ones all over my body in different places, around my stomach, my back, and some of my leg. When I went for a colonoscopy a few years ago, the doctor he said, oh, I'll take one out, no problem, take this one out. He took it out, yeah, it cost thousands of dollars. But of course I have insurance and I didn't have to pay out of pocket. But they put me to sleep and all that is crazy. But he took it out. So that was, I, I thought I was happy, but the, the one on my right, on my leg, stayed there and still bothered me. Um, with PIDA, I noticed a decrease in size on all of them, but especially the, the one on my leg. You could hardly see it now because I'm hitting it with, you know, with whatever. Sometimes I'm watching TV with my wife and I'm hitting it, you know. Uh, so I am so happy with that because it really, and, and, and just, just, just a nice feeling to know that that's going, it's, it's leaving me. The other big thing that happened was my nails, my two nails on my left foot, the ones on the very left, the little toes, they were black. The middle one was getting black too. So it was like spreading. It's a bad feeling when you feel like you're, you're going down somehow. And then the other day I looked at it and I told my wife, and she knew because this, this, this lipomas that I told you about, I had since I was in my twenties. I'm 60 now. So it's unbelievable that I can make progress like that. My, the black nails have been there for, for a year. So my wife is a witness of what happened. Now, if I show you my nails right now, you'll see that look like a, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't mind. Before I would be embarrassed. I'm gonna try to show you just to show off. See, you know this? these two nails. Oh, wow. Black. Yeah, they were completely black. clear. Wow. They were, they were black. Look at them. Yeah. They're so much better. I mean, they almost, like when I was in my 30s, I don't know, uh, and I used to swim in high school and college. So, you know, my, anyway, that, that's, those are the biggest. Uh, I also suffer from tingling, something that I was already getting used to. Uh, my, there was tingling when I was in front of the computer or sitting around or tingling sometimes all the time in the back, in my hands, in my leg. And it was feel a bad feeling. I think that's all gone. It's just gone, gone, gone. Sometimes I would bend down and I started to feel uh, dizzy. No, I haven't felt it for a while now since I've been fighting. Uh, my foot, I, I had to stop running, which I like jogging. I never, I was never a big runner, but I like sometimes to sweat. And I did stop from foot problems. Uh, my doctor, uh, by the way, the doctor said for those two nails, uh, he, took a, he took a little a sample, you know, cut a little sample. And he, the next month when the lab came back, he told me uh, it was fungi, some kind of fungus that I picked up. He says, okay, we could treat it with and he mentioned uh, some medicine that will cost thousands of dollars, a couple of thousand dollars. Plus, uh, he said it will affect my liver. And I said, no, no, thank you, no, thank you. I didn't get it, I said, I'd rather live with the black nails, it's okay. Um, uh, what else? Uh, my tingling was like for years, like I said, I don't feel it anymore. Your prostate. Your then, prostate. Uh, my, that's right, that's right. I've been, I've been suffering from uh, a lot of issues with my prostate, going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, afraid, like almost so uh, afraid to go out because I didn't know if I was gonna feel like uh, peeing sometimes in the middle of you know the road. 
that's 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 not happening. I went shopping not long ago with my wife, and I was just very confident. I felt good, and at night I slept through very nicely. By the way, the tingling, the oh, yeah, the uh, the um, my hands at night will get so tight, so uh, and I will have this feeling of uh, like it, the blood wasn't running, and I will have to get up in the middle of the night and shake it off like this, uh, wake me right out of my sleep. That hasn't happened since I've been piloting. That hasn't happened, it stopped happening. I mean, it decreased and little by little, I thought it was uh, some ginkgo biloba that I was, but I haven't even taken ginkgo biloba for a while now. It's piter, I know for sure. Uh, what else? I, I had so many things already that I, I can't even count. So I wrote all this up and I feel so good about it. That I said, you know what? It's not fair to keep it to myself. It's not right. It's, you know, I have progress and, and let my, my, uh, my kids, my family, everybody know, because I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the results, you know. Uh, overall, even my, my uh, I think my weight is down. I don't, I don't feel so hungry all the time. My hair, I think is starting to look a little better. It was getting <laughs> very, very great. Uh, yeah, overall, I, I feel much more positive. I feel better for, you know, I'm more positive about my future, you know, I don't feel like I'm just getting older and you know, and sicker and this and that. You know, I've always been very energetic and I feel like I, you know, I could conquer the world, really. I'm very happy with it. That's awesome. Oh. I'm so impressed. Great. Thank yes. you, thank you, Jackie. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. That's very encouraging for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you pay up? How often? Yes. Um, I've been I've been doing because I've, I've been cutting down on everything else that I like to do, and I do minimum one hour a day. That's the least. Sometimes I skip a day because it's something if I, I can't do it. But usually, I, I'm doing an hour. Sometimes I already I already this morning did over an hour, and I hope I did my left arm and I stopped for this meeting. But I, I'm hoping to do the, the the right hand for another hour later on. Uh, the tinnitus is still here. It hasn't completely healed, so I cannot, you know, tell you that. But it feels so much better. It's not as tight. It's not. I don't feel like I'm under a vice grip anymore. I feel more relaxed. And I think, I think for sure, I'm very confident, very confident that I, I'm going to uh, succeed in getting rid of it. And Pablo, when you pie that, I know weekly we do different parts, but when you're at home, do you do just your arms, or you do pie that everywhere? Everywhere, everywhere. I do my legs. I do my my feet. Uh, sometimes I, I do my I do my legs by doing this, you know, like with two with the pie and some other stick. And I do I do this for twenty minutes, half hour. Uh, I do all kinds of stuff, but uh, it's working for sure. My I feel a lot healthier. Well, that's great. It seems like you're getting wonderful results, and I hope your wife doesn't think you're crazy anymore. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to yeah. stop this. Yeah. That's what thank I was. You, thank you. That's what I was thinking, Fozzie. I was like, "Well, I hope his wife is let up on his rear end a little bit." Yeah, uh, yeah. She sees it. She sees it because she's the the one witness. You know, that's right here next to me, and she sees my my progress firsthand. Uh, can can I also say, um, Pablo, that your face your face has changed? Really? Yep. And I, I'm going to do a lecture on facial diagnosis on the 23rd of February. But I can really see a big difference in your face. Like there's no no yes. like you don't not so puffy or whatever. You've changed. It's more it's um it's leaner. It's more um balanced. Like you're more your face is balanced. Yeah, you look you look really good. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say the same on the puffiness. You have less less puffiness, yeah. and your yeah. and your face is kind of lifted because you feel better and you feel happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's just yeah. Thank you for the comments. I appreciate Very that. Nice. Yeah. So, yes. can you tell us uh, which uh, part of your body that you have tied up intensively? Because yeah, there are some area you didn't do it so intensively, but yeah, which you do have did the elbows. The underarms, the top of the arms, and uh, the the side of the legs, uh, the thighs, 
and the bottom half of the leg, you know, but on the outside, mostly never inside. I haven't done much in, in the inside of the leg, but on the outside of the, of the legs, top and bottom, the foot, especially the right foot, because that's the one that hurt the most. My doctor, the, I forgot to tell you, my doctor, the podiatrist, uh, a couple of them, they, uh, they said that what I had was um, plantar fasciitis and I needed, uh, one of them wanted to sell me a, a boot that cost almost a hundred dollars uh, for me to sleep with, a huge boot. It looked like an, <laughs> it looked like an astronaut sleeping. I said, I don't want to sleep with that. I told him, I'm not going to buy it. No way. I didn't want to buy it. Uh, but he said uh, it was plantar fasciitis. I should go to therapy. It will take a lot of time. So uh, I, that I was going to be in, in some kind of therapy to show me. I don't know what, but I didn't want to do it. Uh, I did pile at the bottom of my foot I, because I noticed that I also had like lipomas there. And uh, forget it, I'm, I'm like, I think I, I'm walking four or five miles with my wife almost every day. Well, you know, not lately, but we have been, we have been doing it. And I think I'm gonna run again. Yeah. Well, so Pablo, you are Thank so you. right. So let me, let me share one thing. So the body, so you had a problem with tinnitus and that's where you started. You wanted it to be fixed. And you started doing this treatment, which is called by the Lajan. Now, you said, told your body, I want this to be fixed in my ears. But the body is much more intelligent than you are because body has its own priorities. Body uh -huh. says, no, Pablo, I am going to fix the prostate first. Or I'm going to fix your tingling first because I think that is a higher priority than your tinnitus. So the body yes. handles things one at a time. And I've yes. seen it so many times. The body has its own priorities and body is so much more intelligent than us. And it'll continue doing that. And at one point will come when the body will fix the tinnitus as well, because you're enabling it. With the Pai Dalajan, yeah. you're enabling it and you keep enabling it keep empowering it and it will happen but you don't know where yeah. right i hope so i know i know that i know that's true I, I can see it clearly now i don't really i'm not so worried about my tinnitus anymore yeah yeah, yeah. But, and, but besides the uh, paita uh, how about the, your diet your food yeah can you tell 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 us share with us what, uh, what? The food you have. Your food. What do you eat? What are your eating habits? What is your diet, etc. Oh, okay. So now, because of Yushri, I I've been uh, I bought millets and uh, I, I I'm I, you know I have them uh, every day. I have the if for breakfast, I uh, mix them with uh, honey and uh, yeah whatever I get. Not too much. I don't mix it too much. But I I I've you know, learned to like it. At first, it was I told you a little bland and it wasn't uh, as tasty or anything. But uh, now I'm used to it, and uh, I eat that in the morning for a snack if I'm ha hungry. Uh, uh, I might have a cup of tea. Uh, usually, try try not to snack because snacking makes me eat. You know, continue to eat nonstop. But in the afternoon, I make my own salad. Sometimes I chop my own spinach and I sauté it. Uh, it's a side dish, but I make my own fresh salad with uh, lettuce, with romaine lettuce, uh, cabbage tomato with avocado and uh, make a nice good salad that I could eat as much as I want. Uh, and I notice I eat less uh, um, every day. And uh, that's really my what I do every day, pretty much. And then in the evening, I would, you know, if I sit in front of the TV to listen to the news and I'll have another uh, herbal tea or something like that. So, so I have improved my, my diet a lot, a lot, yes. Yeah. Well, what kind of food do you reduce a lot? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm trying to stay away from uh, breads <laughs> and cookies and cakes, whatever. You know, because I'm a vegetarian, but just because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean you don't eat, uh, you know, those things. So, but, so I'm trying to be more careful because sometimes just because with the label, I'm a vegetarian, you can still eat pretty bad, you know. <laughs> I, I, uh, but in the house here, my family, they're vegans, actually, my wife and my kids. So, so I got that going for myself, thank God, because there's no meat in this house. So, so I don't eat 
I try to stay away from the cookies and the, you know, the, the junk food. Yeah. yeah. And, and that is a perfect compliment for Paida Lajan. And I've noticed it as well. So I tell you, when I was in college, so my sophomore years and others, I couldn't run much. I mean, half a mile was a big chore for me to run. But now I'm yeah. 72. And I do a mile, couple of miles, and I don't feel anything. Wow. Yeah. That's sometimes nice. I can run fast, sometimes I get slow. I mean, I can jog. So the energy level, like you were saying, right? You, you, you just like you can jump up and down and <laughs> it's so much full of energy because your mind is full of energy, your mind full of confidence that yeah. nothing, will, nothing can happen to your body. I mean, apart from an accident of some kind, but whatever happens, you'll take care of it, right? It'll just heal. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing changes entirely once you know these tricks. These are such important tricks in your life. Right, right. Yeah. So th thank you all for uh, being here for me. Well, I appreciate it. We're so happy for you. All of us were here to see when you first started chiming in and you were like, ah, oh, my wife's giving me hell and this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> You're just, you are, it's a, it's a remarkable difference, Pablo. Thank you, Jackie, thank you. I appreciate your comment, yeah. Yeah, Pablo also uh, tell me that he want to help his needs, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, so I'm getting, one of my brothers was very receptive to uh, my, you know, my comments about Pida and uh, so I am help him out with his son who's suffering from some uh, drug addiction. Uh, so I send I, I send them the book, you know, for Master Shao, and I send them the uh, the paddles, the, the pita, the, the slappers. So uh, and he's doing it. So I'm I'm hoping that he, you know I'm sure he will help him, but I'm hoping he'll continue to do it. Is he far away from you, or is he close by you? Yeah, he lives in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you could have shown him in his own house or your house or something, right? You could have done it with him. Yes, yes. Much yes. more effective, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, very, very encouraging. Very good, yeah. Okay. So anybody, anybody else has anything to share? Any questions? Any? Yeah, there seems to be a good amount of silence here rather than questions. So, and uh, I, I don't know whether I said that in my last meeting, but I did put something in the Facebook group as well, which was another very good uh, sort of a testimonial. So two days back, uh, one of my friends in South Florida, now I'm living in central Florida, but I used to live in South Florida. And several of my friends have gone through exposure to Paida Lajan. So this friend of mine, I haven't talked to him a long time. He called me and he said, I have something to share. And that was very impressive. So this friend of mine, he was sleeping. Yeah. And suddenly, he had a severe problem with his heart. So he, could, he started having palpitations in his heart, and he was breathless. So of course, he couldn't lie down, he couldn't sleep, he got up. And he said, what do I do? I have to call in the US, we call the number called 911, that's the emergency number. And of course, the ambulance comes, they take you to the hospital, they do you all the tests because it looks like a heart attack and they can do, immediately do some surgery or whatever. I don't know, put a stint in you. So all those kind of things can happen. So he was so scared, but suddenly he remembered that there's something called Paida Lanyan and he has been practicing it off and on. So he went to another room and then he started doing Paida. His, of course, he starts from the inner elbow, and he did, and start, and of course, his heart quietened down to an extent that he could go back to sleep. 
and the next few days he continued his paida and he has a make i mean he has uh, somehow can do lajin as well on the uh, edge of the door so he did paida lajin and after 3 4 days everything was normal completely he didn't have to go to any doctor no tests no hospital nothing and he was so thankful that he had learned this technique so he called me sharing this so just imagine that was an emergency situation for a family it would have been a sort of a disaster kind of situation or right? somebody going through this and he could just handle it where is the man they say that um uh, slapping your elbow i think master shao in the book i read it the slapping your elbow is more efficient than cpr of course yeah in my opinion <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just two minutes or three minutes, very hard slapping. You can wow. help people, yeah, uh, wake up <laughs> from a stroke. Yes. Yeah. So the data mm -hmm. is so the data is with this paida of the inner elbows, the success rate is over ninety percent. CPR, the success rate is ten to fifteen percent. it's a huge difference cpr is much more complex thing to do and very dangerous thing to do as well because you can easily break ribs when you're doing the pressing the ribs in and out well we have to let everybody know about that because if somebody sees me slapping somebody who is having a heart attack they might shoot me or something yeah you know, they won't know what i'm doing i'm saying they they they'll think i'm hurting them I hope I never had a situation anyway. <laughs> But see that's a problem in this country is so highly regulated. Well, you call and, 911 and while while you're waiting for the ambulance you get another person to help you slap. <laughs> exactly. And then the ambulance comes and you know. Yeah. And, and, the, mm -hmm. and the and the find the problem has been fixed, right? There's no problem anymore. Yes. I think more important is that we Got to ask people to do it right right now. <laughs> Don't wait yeah. for the yeah the the symptom come up and just do it right now and then it can prevent a lot of problems in your right. body. Yeah, you just prevent, it, prevent the stroke and many things. Yeah, so I think Luca is raising her hand. So Luca, yeah. you want to say something? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody. special to you my friend uh, hello mom down mm, hi uh haridas he recommend uh, this group and uh, i am first time how you see and uh, thank you everybody uh, i have some problem uh, and he suggest me that i have three gaminus pain full pain last year lot but this year little exercise and this and that these tea this prana this so <laughs> I, i try to help me um but pain is more gone but uh, when uh, cold time now is winter time by, by us in croatia in this part and there is a uh, lot of raining or so and pain start and is very intensive and oh, is very really pain and uh, i don't know i don't take any medicine i just help me how how can i uh, control a little pain but when it's strong then i could not control my mind is full crazy because every my con concentration is going to pain and then i lost everything uh, but uh, my question is how can i help me uh, and i see some some <laughs> touching body some some of yeah <laughs> like so, knife <laughs> so question and, your pain is on your gums on the teeth where is the pain sometime is here sometime here and it's so Oh I see okay so it's a joint of the cheeks to the nose 
Yeah, Sounds like the sinuses, Shri, doesn't it? Like the sinuses, yeah. and he gets it when he's cold. Yeah. Three. 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 It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a sinus, blend, yes. I blend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it on your face, like your even on your forehead? Does it go up? Do you have it here yeah. also no. or just here? No. From here and to here. From here and Oh, here. I see. Back oh, of the ear. Okay. Yeah, it's the sinuses. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, some friend says the sinus, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, give you a suggestion. <laughs> based on my experience, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, when we talk about uh, this kind of uh, uh, pain, it's all because of the blockage. <laughs> yeah, whatever is comfortable, yeah. it's always beca because of the blockage inside your body. So um, uh, how to take care of this kind of uh, uh, problem? Uh, in my opinion, first, first area you got to uh, do is the elbow. In the elbow area, okay, this area in the elbow, right? Yeah, in the elbow, both in the elbow, and then the next part is that the the back of your hand, oh. the back, back, oh. yeah, the back, especially the um, this side, this side, okay, mm -hmm. this side, okay, and uh, because the meridian is come is connected to your face area. And then the next part is that the, the top of your foot. Mm -hmm. And there is another meridian reach to your, your face. Yeah. So the first three thing you got to do is these three areas. You got mm -hmm. to pile down all these three areas. Make sure to pile down harder and harder. And that if you, yeah, get the shot out <laughs> and then uh, only when the pain level drop down, you stop. But yeah, you've got to do this free part. Mm. Okay, this free part. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, um, the first uh, suggestion for that. But um, in your age, I will still suggest you to do more area from your elbow part to the hands or along the arms inside or and outside mm -hmm. yeah for your age because actually i i will suggest people who uh, uh, over 30 <laughs> yeah to do this kind of exercises because this exercise can really help you to improve your immune system and to yeah to pre prevent serious uh sick uh, problem inside body so if you have time after after uh, take care of your pain on the uh, face, you can really do the from your elbow to the hands and from your knees to your foot all the way, okay, mm -hmm. all the way all around the the, uh, the leg area. So that's that's the uh, basic yeah uh, uh, method to prevent serious yield inside your body. So, Luca, question, do you know what Jin is suggesting? Do you follow? What do you have to do in your arms, in your hands? Uh, one more time, please. Can you want, uh, repeat one do, more time? Do, okay. do you know what Jin just suggested to you? What do you have to do? Do you follow? Yes. Yes, yes, to yes. slap all these uh, parts that he suggests. Yes, three parts, right? So yes, one is yes, this, yes, yes. then this, and yes. then the foot, three. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. So start yes. this same sequence. And you know how to slap? Do you know how to slap? How to do this? Is it skill? How, how fast, I don't know. how hard? I don't know, just hand to hand or some. Well, I suggest talk to Haridas because he knows okay. and he knows your language. Okay. Mm -hmm. He can explain to you, right? Talk to Haridas. Okay. Right. So, so you may he... also come. How long? Um, so you may, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I, yesterday I sent you a, 
a message uh, to talk about the basic topic to Python mm -hmm. on the area. So you can uh, can you review that message and then I, after that I will post on the group for so for every newcomer and okay. then okay. basic skill to Python. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not okay. of the uh, not limited to the time, but just uh, uh, based on uh, if you have Python enough, yeah, to move yeah. the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Isn't, the, again, basic, isn't the basic premise 10, 10 minutes, ten minutes no, for one no, area as hard as you can, hard as you can stand? No, as long as you can, oh. as hard as you can. Yeah, but yeah. We, we have the uh, reference uh, criteria for you to uh, yeah to, to see how much you, you should Python on a certain area. So a test kind of what an assessment, sure. assessment an assessment. Sure. It's a I mean it's a a, a basic skill to Python on a certain place to make sure that the uh, blockage is removed. Oh yes yes. I will yeah I will put that yeah on the on the group on the Facebook group so you can read about that. So Luca come back do you follow what Yes what has I'm been good. said? I still yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm starting again. Okay. Good yeah, yeah. good yeah. <laughs> Talk to Haridas. Yeah. He he is in Holland right? He is in or Belgium somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, in Holland. Holland. In Holland, yeah, yeah. So talk to him, and if you still have questions, Haridas knows how to contact me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the contact, okay. and then we can talk again. And then if okay. we need, we can talk, uh, contact Jin or anybody else also. Thank okay. you, Jin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, by the way, uh, you, you can also uh, uh, type that on your face directly also. Yeah, besides this free part, you can do it like this directly. Yeah. So at the beginning, you will feel some pain, but it's okay because <laughs> the, there is blockage inside the face. So that uh, when you pipe out this, you can remove part of the blockage. And then, yeah, the, the, the pain will, <laughs> will drop down and disappear somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Yuri. Yuri, you have your hands up, so please yeah, unmute yourself. And... Hi, everybody. It was nice to hear you. Um, one question for Jim, maybe. Uh, years ago already, a friend of mine had a heart stroke. Not really strong because he realized only months later. But then he had, anyway, heart problem, palpitation. And I told him to beat the inner part of the elbow. And he said that any time he did this, the palpitation increased. So goes too many, many strong, and then so he doesn't do it. He didn't do it anymore. Does it make sense to you? Uh, that's what we call the um, healing uh, reaction. Because if there is a serious stuck in inside uh, along the meridian to his heart, then when he pied out on the meridian, and then the the chi and the blood will really um, yeah. Uh, 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 irritate that blockage, but it's safe. It's really safe. But maybe you can ask him to find out the uh, Lei Guan, okay, the Lei Guan area first. Maybe it's not so strong, and then yeah, ask him to do it here or uh, the the armpit. Okay, so maybe to spread out the the action through the arm. Mm -hmm. say right mm -hmm. yeah and but to handle to to keep going not to give up because of the publication mm -hmm. yeah don't don't give up yeah okay yeah. because i think this this effect will finish at some point right yeah yeah and 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 yuri that is always a problem healing reaction can turn people off or scare people Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's a normal reaction, right? And they'll say, oh, I'm doing something wrong because it's going up and I, you know, I can kill myself because my heart is out of control now. So that is where the strength, the mental strength or the spiritual strength comes in. Mm -hmm. So they have to have confidence. They have to tweak 
reduce the intensity, as Jin was saying, go back and forth, see the right points. And, and this is where, I mean, it, you have to sort of innovate and try a few things and decide that I want to make it work and then it'll work. It's easy to give up, that's a choice, right? And that's, everybody has that choice. So, so really you do need good strength, mental strength at a point. I wanted to say also, Shri, thank you for last uh, lesson, you know, because uh, especially this, and I didn't do much before, and it was very strange, but uh, very good feeling. And uh, since then, I do every day, and it's very nice. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's a classical one. That's what Master Shao in his videos you'll yes. see he does the same thing, and and all all of these things help. All of these things help so much. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions, comments? Yes. Uh, I don't remember if you guys uh, recall when I joined the group, I had contacted Common because I had a healing crisis and I didn't know what it was at the time. And I ended up going to emergency. Uh, so I'll just share for the new members just in case. Uh, I did a legend on each leg for 40 minutes. And then after that, I did the Y for 20 minutes. So my oh. stomach really went up and um, it would come on and off, on and off. And the cramp was so severe that I would be standing at the shopping mall or in the kitchen and I couldn't move. So my husband thought that maybe I had torn something inside without realizing it. So I waited about four days and I contacted Common and he was very kind to tell me, don't worry, it's a healing crisis. But I had, I felt like I need to go to emergency. What if? And I was just introduced to that practice. So I went to the um, emergency, and they said I had something called colitis, inflammation of the intestines, and I have a lot of um, issues with bloating and, sorry to say, diarrhea throughout the years, and I still do. Anything I eat, how I look in the morning and uh, how I look at night, and two different people. I can't wear like jeans that are tight because it'll fit me in the morning. As soon as I eat, I get bloated. So anyway, uh, so that healing crisis, when I went to the hospital, they gave me medicine. I never took it. By the time I came home, I was fine. So if I would have waited just another <laughs> six hours, I would have saved hundreds of dollars. But yeah. anyway, I just wanted to share that. Great. Thank you. And, and another thing is, if you complement with millets, that will go, go a long way. I tell you, one of my sisters in India, she's 78, she's much older than I am. And she has been doing millets less than I am, less than a year. And of course, body has a lot of complicated, different kinds. She says the last time she went to the doctor and they did all her blood work, et cetera, et cetera. And she's saying it came out so much better, so much better. And she, she doesn't do pyla large and she just do the millets. Sorry for interrupting. Is there a certain brand that you recommend or where to buy or can you just get any, get it anywhere? You, you cannot get it anywhere. You normally only get it in Indian stores, these millets that we eat. Um, he did, Shri did a nice presentation on it. Has, was that recorded? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it's on our website, but it's in some website, some okay. YouTube. I can try to find that for you and send it because he does the presentation that's based on the, the doctor in India and yeah. you get it, um, you have, it's imported, but there's an importer here in the United States and it tells the story on how to cook it and how to ferment it and um, which kinds to use for which illness. Oh, I'd love, I, I love to see one. I, I love oh. to see it too, Jackie. So. Yeah. We did a presentation um, and we recorded it, but he'll do it for you anytime live if you just ask him. Yeah, he'll yeah. Make a Zoom call for you guys, and then you can watch it, and he'll talk all about it, and he shows the slides. Oh, thank yes. you. Oh, it's all, it is awesome, and the stuff is really yummy. Once you um, get it fermented, you can add a little honey, or you can have it with your um, with your other food, your sauteed mm. vegetable, or whatever. It's yum yum. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. May I ask you for a favor, mm -hmm. Pablo? Yeah. Uh, I had emailed you. Uh, I went to look for that Meridian mannequin. You said you got it on Amazon. 
for $15. Everything yeah. I've looked at is about 45. Do you mind sharing the link or emailing it to me? Sh sh to share what? The link for the mannequin that you got, the uh, uh, Moravian mannequin. Yes, of course. I, 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 I look at it again. I look again. I got it from Amazon. Yeah, and I know I, I paid about fifteen dollars. Where should I send it to? Just email it, email me the link because I went on Amazon. Everything I found was like forty six and above. That's what I yeah. paid. That's what I paid about fifteen. Okay, including tax. Uh, oh well. I I know I didn't pay that much, but I, I'll, I'll take a look. Okay, thank okay. you. Sure. Okay. Of course. Anybody else? Any questions, comments, discussion? Well, I just gotta say that you know, well, the, I also remember I told you guys about that pain in my hip, mm -hmm. and I thought it was um, a back pain, but it wasn't. And I'm telling you, like when I looked at the mannequin and I saw that that the meridian going, that's exactly where my pain was going. And it took days with some stretching, slow stretching here and there, it went away. Uh, the other, also, the other day, I felt excruciating pain on my after I pied it by my neck. Uh, I, I had felt a very, very bad pain on my left side of my head. But uh, again, I just waited until it went away. So I think that's just part of it. You know, once you pied it, things are going to move inside your body. I don't know, with blood or something, you might end up feeling pain. Like, you know, it's passing for me. Yeah, yeah. Right. So he's got to be patient. Yeah, I think that that is the gallbladder, <laughs> okay? Because the gallbladder uh, have serious blockage along the, the side of your body. That, yeah, cause the pain and cause the pain on the head also. And it also cause the, uh, uh, your uh, ear problem. Really? Actually. Yeah. yeah. And, so also, and also the fat, uh, the bump uh, on your body it's all because of this kind of uh, 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 malfunction of your gallbladder. Because, you know, the gallbladder help you to dissolve the, the fat from the meat, from the, from the baked... Um, <laughs> the cookies. <laughs> cookies, yeah. But there is also the uh, em, uh, animal oil in the cookies. That's mm -hmm. why you eat too much of that, and then you cannot really digest this um, oil uh, properly. And then this oil will stay inside your body and then it will grow up. Um, yeah. So that it okay. show to different part of your body. And okay. the worst part is that when, um, when this uh, more and more this uh, stay inside your body and when you, uh, when you have some, uh, sometime you have the a pressure or yeah, have, have, uh, have emotion problem, you're angry or you are eager to something. And then the chi will bring this, uh, these things to your head, to your upper part. And then it will really block uh, the meridian along your head area, along your ear area, especially, oh. especially the gallbladder meridian. That's, and after it block on this area, it will cause the tintedness. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the pain in my head happened after I pied out here by my, you know, by my mm -hmm. ear. And so I should I should uh, pied around the uh, gallbladder meridian? Is that what you should do? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I, uh, we also need to emphasize the foot, right? Yeah, you up, uh, not only pied out, but also you need to change your diet and then change the foot structure and then make sure that uh, you don't have too much uh, meat and too much uh, baked uh, food because this baked food also create a fire and they, and then they will dry up your body more uh, fruit. Bake baked food, yeah, really. I mean the bake the the cake. The baked cookie. goods, yeah. Baked Cakes. food, yeah. The barbecue, something like this, because this this kind of food is um, is uh, can create a heat inside body. So if you dry, dry up your uh, body uh, liquid, your moisture, and then it will also yeah, uh, create the more too much chi uh, on your head and then not uh, enough blood in your head area. So, so 
Baked you know, goods like, like cakes and stuff like that, you mean? Yeah, cake and yeah, whatever. It's, if you, Cookies, you bake, yeah. uh, it's a very dry, yeah. Because uh, we do have baked uh, vegetables. I mean, not baked, but you know, vegetable. put it in the oven. Vegetable, uh, you bake vegetable also? Yeah, broccoli, you put it in the oven for like five minutes. It's, it okay, it's, hard. it's not uh, so dry. I mean, the bake just like cookie. <laughs> It's too dry, okay? Yeah, it's very dry. And then just like the, uh, the uh, some, some junk food <laughs> and you watch the movie and yeah, this kind of, uh, yeah, baked food is uh, not so good for your body. Right, 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 now I understand, okay. Huh? Yes, thank you, um, thank you. Any suggestion where to pile up for uh, bloating and diarrhea? Floating in diarrhea. And diarrhea. Yeah, in the stomach. Yeah, diarrhea or uh, diarrhea is uh, mostly uh, uh, because of the uh, the spin and the stomach weak, and also your small intestine uh, don't have enough uh, energy because the small intestine is supposed to be hot and to to boil the water inside the inside that area but if you are too cold inside that area and then the water cannot absorb properly and then if you go with the stool so it, it's very soft and not like diarrhea that's why you again you've got to pile up all the arms area because the small intensity and the large intensity and also the uh, the the heart meridian also related to the digestive system. And then the, the leg, the lower leg, from the knees to your foot, you got to cover all this area. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I see comment. Comment you haven't speak, spoken today. Any comments you have? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, one, uh, one good advice to my friend, Pablo. Pablo, you, if you're doing pi the large in step, and next step, you discover so many new things and you will get so many successful results with you. That's why I keep doing and go on the area you wasn't being there. That's mean carpet bombing step by step. Yes, yes. Even, even with my experience, with that's not so many years, but it's almost seven, I have a new results i'm going further that's why the the way is endless i told you before yes go on this way that's the right way and um one answer to luca luca you uh, about your trigeminus problem that's true the trigeminus start from here and what the gene suggests to you you have to to follow his advices and then and then go directly and find where is most painful uh, spots and go there with one finger, with knuckle, with fist, with tapping, whatever. You don't have to have a fear from the pain because pain is your friend and pain shows you where exactly you have to work. But first, as Pai the Lajin and the theory of Chinese medicine, you have to help the heart and the other organs, other meridians. And then you go directly there where the pain is. And don't be afraid that the area is going to be swollen. It's, it's like reaction, it's normal. Uh, the body has to recover that. And it's going to be swollen. It's going to have some reaction. But if any, any free time for you, you keep doing, and work with pain. This is, this is very important. If you don't feel pain, you're not working properly. And if you feel that the pain is going to reduce, then you go to next area. Could be 10 minutes, could be 15 minutes, could be half an hour. One area means one hand, and then go to the next one. That's why this is the way to help yourself. That's my comment. And then go on the face, painful area, go there, knuckle, one finger, thumb, and here where, where it starts. And then you 
you will have success. Like Pablo, you will hear, we will hear from you so many results, not only this trigeminous problem, like a Pablo has, because the body is clever, like uh, the Sri says, the body is doing first establish maybe heart condition, maybe with tummy and everything. And then later come this result in three minutes, he is going to be normal. That's why I keep doing. That's my suggestion. I hope so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So anybody else? Any questions, comments, experience to share? I just want to emphasize one quick thing. Sure. That Jim told me, uh, and I don't know, I hear people are stuck, and I was stuck also in like, oh, I got to do uh, 10, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 15, 15. And, uh, you know, it, it's you could do it that way, I think, right? Now, but uh, Jim's been telling me, don't worry about the time. Do the copper bombing. You start in your wrist like this with the slapper, and once you don't, I didn't know this, I just learned this with him the other day. So you hit this until you feel like, you know, it was red and hot and and, um, and the area starts getting red. And so you move a little bit to, to uh, going up and, and you keep doing that after you don't feel any pain and then you move up. Something like that is what Jim said. So I, I think you can always do 15 minutes, 15 minutes in each arm and 15, 15 and so on because uh, it's not effective, I think. And uh, if you're looking to fix a uh, part of your body, like your gallbladder or something, which I'm gonna try to do, uh, you have to stay in one in one area for a while. Is that right? Yeah, I'm asking. Yes. It's a great, you know, great comment. Yeah, that's a true thing. But Jen, do you, do you want to say anything? Yeah, that's the copy bombing. <laughs> Make sure that you remove the blockage in the in the area and then after that you move to the nearby area and and then again make sure the uh, blockage is removed and then move to the next part that's what we call the copy bombing right so those different areas have different kind of blockage so maybe you should work here for uh, 10 minutes but the next part you maybe you just take three minutes or four minutes to work on that and then the next part it might take longer time. It doesn't matter, but just to make sure that the blockage is removed. And the, and the criteria is that when you tie up on that very hard, the pain level drop down, that's it. That's, that, that's what we call, uh, what, what we define that the uh, blockage is removed. That's the, yeah. So you just uh, uh, following this uh, criteria. Right, right. So Jim, once when you do that and the, the pain drops, you don't have to keep doing it harder for the shot to come out? You keep, you keep uh, tied up on that harder and harder. Yeah, keep increase the power to tied up on that. Keep on, yeah. So when you move to the next step, you don't have to wait for the shot to come here, to come well, out. If the, the pain, if the pain is not, uh, if the pain level drop down a lot, that is even though there is no shock from that, you don't have to yeah keep on doing that. You just move. But the key is that you have got to pile on that very very hard, very hard. Okay. So <laughs> you just to add to this, Fauzia, there are two indications. One is the shock, the other one is the pain. If you don't get either, you're wasting your time. Move on, right? So if the pain has come down quite a bit, quite likely you are done with shah anyway. The shah is the first thing that comes out and the pain persists longer than the shah. So when the pain has come down quite a bit, then you're wasting your time. You just find another area where there's a pain. When I do my inner elbow, one day I get shah and then and the next two days I don't get anything. Yeah, but if that area you, uh, you have uh, get the shah, uh, before and then the next time you might not get, get the shot. But if just uh, uh, based on the pain level, that's it. You don't have to really get the shot out because you have uh, piled up on that before. So, 
And then on this area, any other potty barn, I have tied up for an hour, an hour and a half. And it hurts, but I never get shot. I figured maybe because the skin is thicker or no? Uh, I think you didn't pie dye it hard enough. You don't oh. move. You just focus on one area and then make sure that the, the pain level drop down. If the pain level really drop down, no shot come out, you just just move on. You don't have to pie down that so long time. But you got to on that area first. Mm -hmm. And I could pie that directly on my stomach also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if the shard does not come out, there can be a couple of reasons. One is you're not slapping hard enough. That is one. The second thing is there, is, there are no toxins in that area to come out. That's the other reason. So really, I mean, as you continue doing this, you'll get a feeling what is happening. Uh, and you know that you're wasting your time or you still need to continue or you have to slap harder. And there's a limit to how hard you can slap, right? You don't want to break your bone with a steel hammer. So, so that's, you know, and you have to be logical about it. Can I, can I show something else, one last thing? Sure. sure. Uh, I, I, I tied on my, um, my, what they call the love handles. I'm going to show my stomach. So it's a lot better now. It used to be a lot bigger. So. Okay. <laughs> This, you see this? Oh yeah, yeah, the spot. This, I, I tied it here, mm -hmm. and this has been here for when the, uh, the fourth, since the fourth I did it, but it stays strong. Why is it still so red? Why does it take so long? And the other one too. You might be able to see some of the bumps I had. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. But anyway, the redness. Still there. from Python in here, boom, boom. Yeah, so what, what, what is that? And, uh, you were blocked, blockage, blockage, blockage. I'm blo I was black all over the place. <laughs> I, I tell you, I've seen this shah disappear in 15 minutes and I've seen it disappears, takes weeks. This but, is taking days already, so I yeah, know. Yeah, it, it can happen. It can happen. I saw only in one person so far. I've, I've seen hundreds of people. So one person did the paida for like less than five minutes in the back of the knee. And the total knee, I mean, uh, the total back of the knee was completely dark and black. And, wow. and it kept coming out, that blackness, without any paida for several days going forward. It just kept coming out. Mm -hmm. And spreading. Yeah, so, because it, it did, you know, you, only in a couple of places stayed this dark for so long. Yeah, yeah. So, here these things can happen. Here. Yeah. yeah. So, it, so it, it can happen. Yeah. But that should not prevent you from Pida, further Pida on the same area. Unless oh, it I, is, unless I, it is prevent, I, I mean, it's very painful, extremely painful or something. I, I thought what I had to do was to wait until this was gone and then do it again. No, not necessary. No. No. You can buy that. You can buy that the nearby area. Nearby. Yeah, yeah find the, another spot and then show the, us next week. The spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Meridian is not so clean. <laughs> well, so you got to cover the other part, the other part of the Meridian. The upper, other, or a upper. little higher up? Yeah, upper or lower, yeah, because this is a gallbladder, <laughs> you know, uh, you have serious... So my, uh, my gallbladder is the brown. Yeah, yeah, sure. And the liver also, the liver meridian is also along that way. Yeah, it feels good. I never bite in my stomachs and it feels good. It's actually good for me. It's like a sit-up. <laughs> it's like an exercise. I have to tighten my stomach every time I hit, so... All right, thank you. Wow. So we'll do more of it when you're here next week, Pablo. Yeah, looking forward to the workshop. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're all excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll... you have Pablo coming down to Florida? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be there. That, are you going to be there, Jackie? No, I, I wish I could come. Oh, not too this bad. time. This time. We'll send you videos. Yeah. Please. <laughs> well, and also, my friends are working in South Florida to pull together a workshop. I don't know when, but yeah, they started looking. Oh, good. Yeah. For a longer workshop? Well, well, we'll see what they come up with. So I told them minimum one day, they can have two days, three days, whatever. But, so 
whatever they come up with. So it'll be near Miami. Yeah, looking forward to it, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it'll, it'll be exciting. It's a very a lovely place here. And there'll be a millet presentation, I hear. Well, you'll get millets to eat, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Free food, that's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Okay, good, great discussion. I think we are just a few minutes over the hour. So great discussion. And tomorrow we have a practice session. So Luca, I don't know whether you know that. So tomorrow, Monday, we have a practice on Zoom where everybody does whatever the, the guide tells us. So tomorrow, Jen is going to guide us what we do. So you're welcome to join. Uh, but if it's a different link. So I don't know whether we have your contact. Uh, if you make a question to Haridas, I come in later. Yeah, ask him because he's on the distribution list. Haridas, yeah, ask him. How about uh, we put the link on the group, on the Facebook? It's easier yeah. for more people to read it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. And so Yuri is- uh, Yuri, uh, because Yuri is tomorrow, right? So Yuri, would you be able to put on the Facebook group? Tomorrow link. Uh, okay, okay, I put on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah the new, wonderful. The new, What's time tomorrow? Tomorrow is one hour later. So what is the time now over there? Okay. Yeah, okay. one hour later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good, great. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Have a good week. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye.